Hello? I see. Thank you. The ZX Next Spectrum Core has been ported to the Mister. All your base, Chris. Hello, all your base, Chris here, with another one of those funny videos. This time, well, I'm having trouble containing my excitement. So we're going to look at the ZX Spectrum Next Core today. First of all, don't ask about the banana. Moving on. So the ZX Spectrum Core, the Next, has been ported to the Mister. Uh, it's a very exciting day, really, because uh, when I was looking at an FPGA sort of emulation system, I was going to buy a Spectrum Next, but I decided on the D10 Nano simply because I thought it might do more systems, and so I regretted. I didn't regret. I would love the Mister, but it was a bit of a surprise to. Uh, to find that they've actually now ported the Spectrum Next core to the Mister. So here we are. So I've just booted up the core, as you can see, and uh, welcome to Next ZX OS. So here's the clever bit. This is essentially now a Spectrum Next in nearly every way. So you can run this a couple of ways. You can run it with a virtual hard drive image, which is then mounted in the core, or you can do what I've done and if you have the digital I.O. or analog I.O. using the secondary SD card slot, you can actually just format a FAT32 SD card, slot it in, and it'll act like a real Spectrum Next. So this isn't going to be a video that goes on for too long because I'll be honest, I just want to get down and play with it. Um, so when you boot into it, you get this lovely screen here. And we have, it's, like a, it's just like a Spectrum, just like with extra bits. So we're going to get into the uh, extra bits that the Spectrum Next has over other machines. So it has better audio, better graphics, more colours, that sort of thing. <laughs> Joystick and S. There we go. So yeah, here we get Angry Bloaters. This is a Bomberman clone, where you have to blow up. It looks like cabbages. <laughs> and avoid the balloons, and try not to blow yourself up with a bomb. So if you remember the Spectrum, the Spectrum had games that didn't have as many colors as this. This uh, kind of reminds me of the Pico 8 fantasy console as in the Spectrum Next has never existed in real life. It's always been like a creation, an FPGA creation. So I'm gonna hit F1, and we're gonna jump out of that again. I'm gonna disable this welcome screen by hitting D, so we won't see it every time I reboot. So this is one as a basic program, because uh, the Spectrum Next has its own updated version of basic as well which has some really great features. As you can see, the, the sound and the uh, the uh, graphics are just a massive update. It's great. Oh, QAOP. Oh, yes, QAOP. Hey. So I'm going to break into the program, and here we are, we can see. This is literally just a basic program. Superb. I'm going to skip all of the things and Lords of Midnight. And I want to show you something really impressive. So this is like an amazing demonstration of what the Spectrum Next can do. Gotta love that fake out screen, haven't you? So audio sounds like Commodore 64 to me. Look at the smoothness of this. Again, standard disclaimer for video, uh, video capture on the Mister. It looks better in person. There'll be no V-Sync issues on normally, but uh, my 
kept, sorry, I'm getting distracted with playing the game. My graphics card, my graphics capture, um, I have to run in compatibility mode for it to display. While on my monitor, I can run it with sort of zero latency. So you might get some screen tearing, is what I'm saying, which that you wouldn't normally see. So this is a proper. So not to get too much into the history of the Spectrum Next, but it really is somebody decided that they wanted a Spectrum, a new one, and so they made a clone, and they used the original Xylo uh, ZX chip. But when they became harder to get hold of, they decided to go to the, the FPGA route, which obviously then allowed them to add extra features like improved sound, improved graphics, more processing power, and so then Obviously, you end up with the Spectrum next, which is just fabulous, as you can see. Um, how do I load this? No, not that one. Beep. Let's try the one that says start. No, beep. There we go. Sprite editor. <laughs> Again, built in. Again, very like the Pico 8. I'll sorry to half part about the Pico 8. The, the Pico 8 and uh, Spectrum Next are totally different things apart from the fact that they've never existed in real life. Apart from the fact you can actually buy a Spectrum Next and have it arrive in a box. But the Spectrum Next was never a real computer. It's always been FPGA. So yeah, um, one other thing you can do obviously is that let's jump out with this. Um, it also supports all the original Spectrum stuff. So let's fire up a classic Spectrum uh, 48k image here. Dark Star. I, I don't know how to play this. I think that's fairly obvious, even though it does have instructions there. Ooh, trash Man. So, yep, tape files, uh, and it, it really supports any sort of standard um, ZX Spectrum file and it just loads it natively so here we go oh it's great isn't it welcome to trash man uh kempston enter applicant's name a no uh miss there we go uh no what an amazing demonstration you're showing here that's just a. Uh, there we go. He's the trash man with no name. He went to pick up all the rubbish, no name. There we go. Through the door. Oh, this is great. And probably the only career that I'll be able to take for after this, uh, after that introduction. So I take it I just go up to here. No, nope, no, come back. Yeah. You love it, don't you? Um, okay, can't get too involved. <laughs> and obviously, uh, again, controllers are fully supported. Ooh, Crystal Kingdom's dizzy. Oh, that's a disc. Um, it's just mounted on A. Yeah, why not boot the disc? I like this because this is what comes with the Spectrum Next on the um, SD card image. They've got all of these demos and games already on here, and obviously they're showing off that they can load different things. So this is now lo loading the disk image. Love it. I'm pretty sure this has got updated audio. Kempston? Enter. I don't have a password. Hey! Oh no, up is jump. Never mind. Now, this is Crystal Kingdom's Dizzy, isn't it? Yeah. I think this is an updated version. There's an easy way of finding out. Well, let's just see what Castlevania is all about first. Uh, let's run it in next mode, see what it does.
<laughs> nah, nearly. Jumper 2015. Well, it really is Castlevania. Okay, never mind. What was I doing? I was getting distracted again. So, let's go into games. And we'll go with the ZX80. Tosec. That was Crystal Kingdom's Dizzy, wasn't it? And uh, we have a couple of uh, Spectrum games already on here. This might take some time. There's probably a quick way of jumping to a particular game, but I don't know what it is yet, because I didn't read the manual. I just started put, pressing buttons and going, wee. So hopefully it comes up as Crystal Kink. I might have to go to the D's to get Dizzy up. I don't know yet. Uh, na, 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 na. Crystal. Crystal of Kings. Crystals of Kings. SD card um, loading's a little bit slow. I'm not sure if that's something to do with this being on the mister or if it just is on an actual spectrum next a little bit slow right yeah crystal kingdoms dizzy let's load up the 128k version oh here we go i went and went backwards so if you remember what the previous dizzy looked like That wasn't particularly clever. Managed to break it there. Let's try again. It remembers where you left off when you uh, reset it by pressing F1. You can also reload the core. So load that up again. Uh, it, obviously it's slow because this, this folder's got something like 4,000 games in it or something. Kempston, continue. One, start game, let's see. There we go. Yeah, so this is what the game looked like on an original Spectrum. Don't know what to do with all these difficult puzzles. Snake. Ah. Hello, Daisy. All right, then. Uh, yeah, sorry, again, getting distracted. So, yeah, um, loads any original Spectrum game as well. Next basic. <laughs> shall I? Shall I? Shall I do it? You know, I'm not going to do it because, you know, we all know how to do that. I don't know what command line does. Anyone know what two, uh, two uh, plus two equals? Oh, four. Good. Okay, that works. And more. You can load actual tape audio into this, and it works with the Mister. I've tried it using the same process as I did in one of my early videos. Tape tester, CPM. Uh, if you know what CPM is, it's like a Wait, it's a completely brand new thing, which I haven't set up, but CPM is like um, a terminal, can run other software, and 48k basic. Look at that, we're now running a 48k. So yeah, I mean, it's a Spectrum Next. I never thought I'd see this on the mister. 
So I'm really pleased that it's turned up. There's been a version of this in development for a long time, but this came out of nowhere really. Um, because the last I heard it needed like a particular RAM module, which was, you know, which was quite rare. But now it runs with a 32 meg normal, uh, 32 meg up normal RAM module. And it's just a really funky little thing. Um, so what use is it? Well, if you want a Spectrum, you've got a perfect Spectrum already in the Mister. The ZX Spectrum core on the Mister is cycle accurate and fantastic anyway. So yeah, if you just want to play Spectrum games, then you've already got the, Z, the, the ZX Spectrum core. But next ZX, it's just interesting because it's new and it's a nice novelty. And the whole point of getting involved in these sort of things is to try out new things and just enjoy them. And having like something else to play with every week, every every time I fire up the Mister, there's something new to play with. It's fantastic. So uh, I'm going to call it a day uh, or a night even. Thanks very much for watching. It's been really great to see the subscriber count continue to climb up and uh, really it makes my day. Uh, that's one of those uh, things and has made this grim uh, future that we live in slightly less grim. So thanks very much indeed. Keep subscribing if you like. Uh, leave me comments. I love interacting and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.